There are a number of crystals which refract the ray of light by dividing it into two rays with different properties. The crystals which represent the ray refraction are called double refracting. The double refracting crystals include the so-called Icelandic spavin. If you put the crystal onto a drawing or a scheme, you will see doubled lines. If you cover one dense of the crystals with a dense plate with a round puncture and look in the direction of the light from the opposite edge with the puncture, you will see two light circles as far from each other as the crystal is thick. The ray of light upon entering the crystal through the puncture doubles and remains doubled coming out of the crystal through the opposite edge. The two parts of ray formed within the crystal have different properties. One is at the inlet of the crystal and the other is at the outlet, following the common laws of light refraction within non-crystals and called a common ray. The other part of the double ray is the crystal and its outlet lies within the plane, making a definite angle with the plane of the ray. Due to such uncommon refraction, the ray is considered uncommon. The two rays differ from common ones also because common rays have a stable refraction indicator, regardless of the direction of the ray. While the refraction indicator of the uncommon ray depends on the direction of the light distribution.